Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. It is time. The Dark Below, as you can see on screen, is finally here. It says the Dark Below awaits new content unlocked. So, I am getting ready to dive into the raid with my group, so we're going to go straight into it. But what I wanted to do was bring you guys a video really early. Just going to jump into the tower, quickly have a run through uh, and show you all the new vendors. Because as we know, Eris has dropped into the tower. She sells you stuff, but also all the new Vanguard and Crucible vendors have also got new gear. So I'm going to jump into the tower right now, give you a quick walk around, showing you all the new gear that's for sale. And then I'm going to jump into the raid, so I'll then catch you guys on the flip side, where I'll then bring you loads and loads of raid content and loads of other stuff like that. So let's jump straight into the tower. Also, as I bring up the um, director here, as you may notice that right now, the uh, Heroic and the Weekly Nightfall are actually locked. Because they are Dark Below content, it says that I actually need to complete a mission from Eris. So, that is a change right up from here. But anyway, let's jump into the tower. So, as soon as we drop in, if you take a turn to the left, you'll see that is where Eris is. So, we're going to go and meet her first. She is the new quest giver, the new vendor, all that kind of stuff like that. Everything to do with the Dark Below comes from her. So, there she is. Hello! So let's go and see what she has to say. Guardian, I need your help. So this is the start, what and the cool thing about this is like her new quests are kind of done in quest chains now as well. So it's kind of like an exotic bounty in that respect. So they kind of sort of like chain long, which is kind of cool. But anyway, that is a quest from her. She also has bounties. You can see like kill hive using uh, blade sword and earth. Rapidly kill seven enemies with a melee attack. And there are also sometimes class specific ones. But anyway, we're going to move on from here for now. So these are the things that she sells. Now, bear in mind, she does have her own uh, favor, her own reputation. So you need to do missions with her to get reputation and obviously complete her bounties and things like that. So right now, having said that, I'm going to jump into the raid. I am going to be a bit behind on this, but this is what she has. So there's the emblem. You need to be Crotus Bane rank one. That's a really cool emblem. This is another one. That's really cool as well. I like this one with the sword. Um, that's cool. So these are her shaders. Now I actually did a video recently, so you need to be ranked two for these ones uh, on sort of like what I thought they would look like. So let's actually open this up and see how accurate I was. Oh, okay, right. These look a lot better. My so clearly my colours were all wrong. This looks awesome. I really like this one. That's cool. So that is a pre-dawn one. Then this one you need to be ranked three with her, the midday one or midday. Ooh, I kind of like that one. I like the green bits. I'm not sure about the brown. So far I'm liking the first one better. And then this is the sun setting one. Ooh, oh, that, that is quite cool. And again, I don't really like the khaki pants here, but I am going to be swapping these out quite soon anyway, so that does look pretty damn cool. So, they are the three shaders, and that's obviously rank three and rank four, so I'm going to have to do a bit of work for that. Then, the titan mark, I can't show you that because obviously I don't have a titan right now. She tells you two titan marks, one at rank two and one at rank four. The cloaks, now these are the ones that are interesting here. Hood of the spawn. Oh, that looks quite cool. That's kind of like a variant of the, um, the one that the Vanguard guy used to sell. Uh, with the sort of two splits, that's kind of cool. And then what else have we got? We've also got Cloak of the Hidden. Ooh, very nice. I do like, I like both of those. That's that's pretty cool. So those are rank four again. And then again for the, the Warlock. I'm afraid I, I can't show you those ones. And then as I previously discussed, these are the items you sell on here. So this, when you're rank three, it will be sold in exchange for five Black Wax Idols, the Ruined Core. The Embalming Orb is for ten Black Wax Idols. She sells you for Black Wax Idols again. All this stuff here is for, is for the Idols. Sells you Special Ammo Synthesis. And then the Radiant Shards and the Radiant Energies. So, they are the things that Eris sells. And as I said, she's got bounties right now. And we've got the first quest from her. So, I can now leave and I can then go on and embark on my quest. But let's now take a look at what everybody else has. So, quickly jump in. We already know that the... Um, I'm not going to worry about the Cryptoc. It's just because I've got uh, an, an item I need to turn in. Let's just see what I've got in the post quickly. Checking. The Dark Below package. Let's see what this is, shall we? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, right, well, that's... Oh, they gave me some black box idols, that's nice. Thanks for giving me some old gear, Ross Burner and Ascendant Energy. But anyway, that's cool. So, let's go and take a look at these guys down here, because these guys have new gear as well. Now, apologies to the Titans and the Warlocks out there. Obviously, I won't be able to show you that, because I've now filled up all three of my character slots with those characters. Uh, so, apologies for that one. But this is the new gear for the Hunters. Uh, 269 is also, he's a, he's a Titan, so I'll also obviously try and get you some of that footage later on. But for the time being, this is the uh, Vindicator. So, this is what the helmet looks like. Pretty cool. This is the other one. I like this one. The I think I like this one better. This one's probably like my favourite one so far. Um, and obviously, I'll I won't worry about the the kind of perks for the time being. Um, unless you want to sort of see if I scan over here, you can see replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, all that stuff. Then for the gauntlets, you have uh, and largely the vanguard stuff will be the same. I mean, I'll show it to you anyway. But it's normally sort of like a slightly different colour variant. Um, so let's have a look at this. They're cool. I like the uh, the first gauntlets better. Then for the chest pieces, we have 
these. That one looks kind of basic. And also worth noting that all of this armor has, uh, you know, it starts off with light stat of 24, but you'll see that it gets, it has a total light stat of 33. Now, in order to be level 31, you need 131 light, and in order to be level 30, you need 120 light. So, those of you that haven't been level 30 yet, if you get this gear, as you can see here, I can buy it for crucible marks, um, but over here I need commendation. So, to complete the set, I need a commendation for the helmet, and I need commendations for the chests, but I don't need them for the, um, you know, for the helmet and the boots, I mean, for the arms and the boots. So, combinations only one and then some marks uh, and then all that stuff like that so anyway sorry yeah they're the boots um but yes so you can get to level 31 with these alone four pieces of this armor will give you 132 light which is obviously one above 131 which is what you need to be level 31 so obviously if you're level, if you're just trying to be level 30 this is a really cool cloak i cannot wait to get this one uh then yeah that's all you need all my victim's cloak oh ooh, very nice right there's a lot of stuff i'm clearly going to want to get right now so that's the Crucible gear. Uh, quickly run over here to see what the Crucible Quartermaster's yes. got. So, more weapons. Obviously more powerful this time around. Ooh. Some of these look pretty cool. I'm just going to sort of like briefly scan over some of these. I'm not going to like run through all of these for the time being. Um, but just sort of scanning over. For those of you who sort of want to see these things. Do -do. I will obviously do like a more detailed breakdown of these later on, but uh, my raid crew are currently waiting for me in the party, so they're like, hey, hurry up. So that's why I'm going to bring this to you guys first. So uh, then let's talk. Uh, let's look at the Vanguard yeah, stuff. So this has all been replaced. So for those of you that wanted to get the old gear, I'm afraid it's now gone. And also, if you haven't got the DLC, then this uh, is still available to you as well. So helmet, in terms of actual like form factor, same sort of thing, slightly different design. So that's the Vanguard one. Again, one combination for that, for the helmet piece. And that is the other helmet. I do really like this one, so I'm going to pick that up at some point. And accommodations, for those of you who want to know, are earned by when you rank up your Vanguard. So I'm like a quarter towards rank 10. When I get to there, I will get accommodation from my package. Gravebreakers again. That one's slightly different, obviously, with the shoulder bit. Then the chest. That chest piece. The boots. Oh, I prefer those ones. I like the. Uh, I didn't like the sort of like weird white lines on the uh, the previous ones. So the jackknife gear. I think I think I prefer the Vanguard gear for some of it. And then let's have a look at the cloaks. Oh, in fact, I can actually buy one of these cloaks right now. I think I might buy that because I do want to rock this. It is going to eat into my Vanguard marks, but I don't care. That's what they're for. They're here for spending. I should probably buy some of the new gear instead. But you know what? In fact, what's the difference between these ones? Red Eclipse Cloak and... Oh, it's probably if I take my shader off. In fact, I will find out for you guys just really quickly. In case you're wondering, what's the difference? Uh, if I take this off, speak to him again, and then look at these. So that is like black and sort of like red color. Obviously, the Eclipse is red. And that is interesting. Technically the same. Anyway, I'm just going to buy one of them. So there we go. I bought it. Job done. I can buy the other one if I made a mistake. But let's quickly whack that on. So I'm now all dark below up. And whack my shader back on. Thunder Devil. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right, anyway. So, let's move on. I'm now quickly going to run to the... Uh, I don't actually know. I assume the faction guys must have also changed their stock as well. So I'm going to have a quick check over there. And then otherwise that should be it for... The new stuff. Uh, I'm going to run this way because there's also the um, ship lady over here as well. Sorry. Pausing for thinking my words. Alright, quickly jump down here and check out the dead orbit guy. Now bear in mind, these guys will be the same sort of thing. They'll just be different colours. Um, ah, no, these guys have still got... They have the defense... I mean, the defense, sorry. The light values have gone up, but for the most part... Oh, wait, does that still look different? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember the dead orbit gear off the top of my head. It does look quite similar. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It does look... I mean, the at least the icons for these look the same. That does look pretty much the same. So I think the faction gear looks pretty much the same, but you can get it for... It obviously does, kind of has been sort of like ranked up, so you can get to level 31 through these guys as well. So, I'm not going to show you all them for now, because I just wanted to show you the new stuff first. 
quickly check over here with the Vanguard guy that sells our weapons. Welcome to the... What can the Vanguard supply for? So, yep, so these are different. That used to be Dr. Nope, and that used to be something else. So again, um, they have... Design-wise, they look pretty much the same, but they do, again, have different stats. So, these are your new weapons, and let's just quickly check last thing here with the shipwrights and see if she sells any of those crazy new ships, because I really want one of them. Nope. Uh, these are the old ones, so I guess I'm going to have to earn those. Anyway, so that is it for the time being. This is just a quick sort of like run through of all the new vendors and what they sort of sell. Don't forget that this Friday Zua will also be selling you exotic upgrades, so I'll also be showing you that. And as I said, I'm about to dive into the raid now, so expect some raid content and some of that cool stuff coming out of that very, very soon. Uh, but for the time being, that's it for this video. So this is now my character rocking that new cool cape. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, and show your support. It does really help me out. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. And stay tuned all this week and going forward for much much more Dark Below content and just much more Destiny goodness. Thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.